This video is about how to refer a case through the CPIMS Plus. Referring a case is a way of giving a user limited and temporary access to a record without transferring it completely. It will allow you to understand how to refer a case to a CPIMS Plus user or to a service provider who is not using the CPIMS Plus. This video will also explain how a service provider can complete a referral when the service provision has been done. Note that using the CPIMS Plus to refer a case does not take away the need to follow up on a referral using other means, such as a phone call or a meeting, in order to make sure the receiving agency or department can take on the case and if they have received it and have started service delivery. It is important, though, to always do the referral through the CPIMS Plus for follow-up and accountability purposes. The caseworker will have to make sure the child or caregiver consents to the referral. In order to do this, first you will go into the cases itself to find your case. Once you find the case that you are looking for to be able to do service provision, verify that consent has been done to complete this referral. In order to create a referral in the system, select Edit in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Go into the Services form, and here you can already see there are some services that have been added. To create a new service, select the Add button. Once selected, the type of response is defaulted to Service Provision. You can select the type of service that is going to be provided in this case. I'm going to select Alternative Care. If it's a different service, you can also enter in. If other, please specify. You can enter in a reason for the referral, the expected outcome of the service, and in this case, I'm going to transfer to another CPIMS Plus user, so I'm going to select an internal referral. The service created on date auto-populates with today's date. This next section is about the service request from an external system. Skip over this field for now and we'll come back to this in a subsequent video. We'll now complete the internal referral details. This has been populated according to your service referral pathways in country. You'll be able to select an implementing agency, in this case I will select UNICEF, any of the service delivery locations that these UNICEF caseworkers work in, and then select the service provider name. Once this is complete, you can continue throughout the rest of the form to add any additional information as needed. Once reviewed, you select Add. In order to send this referral to the service provider, once this has been saved, you can refer through this form. In order to do this, you will find that service and select the Refer button. It will auto-populate with the information that you've already entered into the form, and you can also add any additional notes at the bottom of this form. Then to send, select Refer. All referrals that are sent through the CPIMS Plus are under the Referrals form. You will be able to see the date of the referral, the status of the referral, and be able to see who you sent the referral to, and for what service and what agency they work for. If you added any notes, you would also be able to see them here. I'm now going to log out and log in as this service provider. Once I'm logged in, I, this is now a dashboard of all of my cases. I can see any referrals that have been sent to me, as well as if I had sent any referrals to others. To be able to see the referral that was recently sent to me, I can click on one new referral. This will now show me the referral that was sent to me. I will only have access to the cases that I've been provided granted access to. This can be modified from implementation to implementation. I can go into the record information and then the referrals form to be able to see the exact information of this referral. I can then go ahead and accept or reject it. If this case has been now rejected, I will no longer have access to this case. If accepted, this will allow me to have time to take over responsibility for this referral itself, be able to enter any information on the services form to complete that service provision. Once accepted, you can see that the status has now changed to accepted. I can go into the services form itself, find the alternative care referral that was referred to me, and go ahead select the edit button to be able to enter any information on the service and what I've provided. I can do this as I scroll down at the bottom of the form where it says implementation details. Here I can select the service date that I completed 
as well as the time, any notes, as well as any details or comments on the service provided, and any follow-up actions. Once I've entered in this information, I can select Update and save. In order to relinquish control of this referral, what I must do is now complete this referral. And in order to do that, I will go back into the referrals form, into the referral section, and here in the three dots, select done. Once I select done, I will no longer have access to this case. Here, I can also enter in any notes on the referral before sending. Once this is completed, the caseworker that had sent my referral in the first place will now get notified on their dashboard. I'm now going to log back in to the caseworker that had sent in this referral. Here, I'll be able to see that there are four new or updated cases. One of these cases is the one that I completed. Here is that case that I was looking at. Now when I go into the case, there's a yellow alert beside the services form, and I can see that the service was updated on May 30th. I can go ahead and refer again if needed after I review the information. You can see in the referrals form that the completed referral is now here. If you sent another referral, either by accident or the child does not want to have the service provision anymore, you can always revoke a referral. In order to do this, you can select the three dots and then select revoke. Once revoked, the service provider or caseworker that you had sent this referral to will no longer have access to this case.